do our test. So, so they would have to be careful of those sliding challenges because if they do continue to do that, then they cause problems again. Well, that ball is gone. But as I said before, Donald, you have to do something better in terms of in terms of uh, defending. Yep, so this was locked in and Thompson. He made a meal of it to be fair. Should have done better. <laughs> yes. In the end, safety first. He didn't trust his hands after that. Yeah. Anthony Smith was coming in to cause some problems. Should have done ben better on Mario Thompson. Goes with a long ball over the top, looking for a skipper. He tried to play the ball through. The Kuma Lulin. Well, Peter King so far has the upper hand. Nice turn by Beckford. Turns it out wide, got three. Gets a throw for his team. Osiris now getting into the thick of things. You're the one that is the team that is more attacking going forward. They're making more passes into that attacking position, that final third. They're the ones that are now pressuring your castle after 29 minutes of play so far. Put away to the free kick again. They send bent bodies to the edge of the area. Around six of them there. And that was four. But your castle not doing themselves any favors until now. But it's put it into touch. Yeah, I think that they, they got themselves under some pressure there themselves. Wasn't a good free kick at all for Ocherius. But somehow they <laughs> regained possession basically with a throw. Lulin was trying his best to set up Kemar Reynolds there. Again, no pressure from your castle at all. We, we see it from Ocherius where your castle has possession and Ocherius does pressure them. But now we just see a press from your castle. And look, they regain possession. Your castle. Through Kevon Harris trying to make an impact. It was a little bit too slight in possession. And uh, your castle still on it. Looking for the shot and drags that one wide at Donato Thomas. Just a ding dong battle for possession. Just outside the 18 yard box. In the end, there was a shot that went wide, but looks like there's a player down on the field. Indeed, there is. Another York Castle player goes down. You get attention from off the bench. Siobhan Harris on this on this occasion maybe yeah it seems as it is Siobhan Harris is down on the field nothing mm. that water can't fix <laughs> there's some things water can't fix <laughs> something I can tell you that I've seen them do that fixes a lot of things. I've, I've been asking this question since the Jamaica Premier League 
I, I want to know what's in those, that, that magic spray. Spray that they do spray on the players' feet, thighs, calves, shins, ankles. What, what is in there? What, what is contained? What, what, what does that magic spray contain? Not so I can tell you it works though. <laughs> it's like the players have found new life. You know, they say what you don't know won't hurt you. <laughs> there you go. Here's how to race. Should have been better on that occasion. Paul Guthrie has to make a U-turn and then slide to try and keep it in play. That was always asking a lot from him, but young lad had a really good heart there to give that chase. He really did. Yeah, I like the effort from, from Guthrie there. Didn't get the ball, but showed some fighting spirit in trying to retain possession for Otorius. That's what you want from your team. You know, fighting spirit, you want some heart. Play like your life depends on it. Again, I think that the decision making by your castle in terms of their positioning, who they want to pass it to, has not been the best so far. That's why they're trailing. They easily lose possession. So we have another free kick to work with. They have been given the opportunities to build set pieces here. Motorius. Again, ball goes long, Chambers with the header. But uh, there was an infringement. A foul there on Harris. Javon Harris. So he has been involved for your castle since the start of the game. Oh yeah, he has. Yeah, he's been everywhere. He and his brother doing well in covering the midfield area for York Castle. Picked up now by the other Harris in Kevon. Trying to switch the play over that right hand side. And what do we go kick at the end? Not a lot you could do. Overlapping on that right hand side, Malachi Hudson. Hudson showed some speed there, Donald, to try and get that one. But speed just not enough. The defender covered pretty well. Like I said, if I am your castle, I'm your castle, I would really pressure the side of, of Coombs, the number four for Ultra Reels. It's not been performing well so far in this game. Cooper goes long. And he was able to put it out on the second attempt. Tyrubo Evans. First of the defender just making sure. Harris has to be careful, he's on a yellow card. Going <laughs> flying in on a challenge there. Javon yeah. Harris. Uh, has to be very careful. Oh my goodness. He's <laughs> lucky. He's lucky to see it. He's still going to see it. Wow. And everyone was like, nah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but he's very lucky. He can count his lucky stars. Very fortunate to still be on the field. Nine fouls committed by your castle. And I can tell you, probably three or four of them. <laughs> 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 And he's on a yellow card, he's picked up a yellow card as, as well. Yeah, so we can definitely count two occasions, this one and the yellow card in offense. Of course. Or we didn't say a word to him too, you know, so it's like, <laughs> not even another warning, I Pro suppose. Probably use this discretion somewhat, referee. Right, as That's what you call it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Here's the 
That's what we were saying. Tried to throw his defender aside on that occasion. Got through. That's also the difference that York and Ochoias have. In their defense, we see Hodges just trying to keep possession. But York, York's defense is basically to boot it upfield. Now, I, I understand that you don't want to put pressure on yourself, but once you keep possession, you have a better chance of, you know, reading a lot of plays. Your players can run into spaces. And that's not necessarily what they're doing, and that's why they're losing possession so quickly. There you go. They do hard. They do work hard to win possession, mind you, Donald. But losing it is just as easy for them as gaining it. So they have to be careful. And as you can see, Ochoias can score goals. Was nice work there. As the ball plays upfield and he has to go towards Chambers and wasn't accurate in doing so. And there you go, the run of play from Ochoias. She was not able to get that one target and like I said, working so well is Llewellyn and Chambers trying to build that chemistry in this game. And when Llewellyn got the ball, he just laid it off. Chambers couldn't finish, though. Trying to find Llewellyn. Picked up well. Coombs. Llewellyn. Not sure what he was trying to do there, Kamar Reynolds. Steam, still with the possession though. Tyrese Taylor. Back inside to Dijon Beckford. And, uh, oh, that goes high and wide and out into touch for a goal kick. Just trying to keep possession. Some passing done. Very good by Coombs to win back the ball and... Ochari is just building momentum, building momentum. And for sure, I can tell you who the team on top is at the moment. As those decision-making passes for Ochari have been better than your castle. It needs to step up your castle in order to really cause some problems for Ochari Brandon Brown was trying to pick it up, and he does. Chambers against Evans. Evans with the advantage, and gets here ahead of him, putting him into touch. <laughs> yeah. Evans being pressured, of course, in the last 10 minutes. Has to basically put the ball out of play every time. Yeah, he's not taking any chances at all. No, can't blame him. Devontae Hodges back with it. Now Jaheim Coombs. Too much physical play there from the skipper. The Kuma Lulin. Physical. Didn't get the ball at all. Physical. In your castle, just not keeping their cool. They're not calm at all, Donald, and they're, they're just not making the best decisions when passing. Where they can retain possession in defense, they're launching the ball forward. 
and they can make a pass to the right or passing to the left. Low will interfere. Flag is up though for offside. Actually saw that one. Had he timed it just right, it would have been a very good opportunity for Otarius to double the advantage. And Rockcastle will really have to act next two and a half minutes of course along with time added on but to just not not getting those final third passes well and, and one of the reasons why they're not being so dangerous is their target man is not as involved as they would want him to be Zachary Barnes. He's that man in that attacking midfield role that really can spark your castles. Oh, nice take out on Tyrese Taylor. Oh, definitely. There's on Beckford. Comes out to Taylor once more. Back to Beckford. Oh, the ball has got through to you, though. Take on Brandon Lewis. Wonderfully done by Alteria Kai to make it 2 0 over your castle. The build up was neatly done, and the finish was absolutely clinical by their skipper. It's Alteria 2 your castle nil. I did talk about the, the man Llewellyn just getting into space. The play before was an offside call, and you see Chambers just lays it off to Llewellyn, and a cool, calm finish by the captain. That's his fourth goal this season. And what a finish that is. And I talked I talked about the, the chemistry that was being built between Chambers and Llewellyn. But there you go. That's your answer. Very, very good play by Otarius. But we have to give an honorable mention to Tyrese Taylor. That build-up. He's the one that basically started it. A beautiful takedown by him. And Otarius are... Now up 2 0. So simple football, too, you know. There was a Beckford also involved, as well as Chambers who made the pass, and they're looking for a third goal here. Coombs, there's nobody there at the back post, you know. I suspect that he was anticipating someone to, to at least collect the ball there as he tried to spread the play open. Definitely. For the first 10 minutes or so, Donald, we, we saw where the pressure was building on Ocharius by your castle but they've, they've definitely turned this one around and that man has been everywhere for them three minutes to be played yeah so time added on right call that's crunching but he took the ball as well not sure if the follow through was involved there too you know Referee is going to stop the play now. It's going to be interesting to see this on the replay. Yeah. It looks as if he's in some pain, Kamar Reynolds. I felt it was clean initially, and then let's take a look at follow through what happened here. But I don't think he. The ball just stopped between him. Yeah, I think it's more a matter of. I, I don't think it came. Well, it came from a challenge, but it wasn't in direct contact with. Uh, with. with. Uh, the tackle, I, I don't think. I think he probably just jerked his knee. The challenge, did? Yeah, the 50-50 challenge kind of shook him up a bit. That's why he's still on the floor. But Coach Pete again has the upper hand against his old team. Did coach there in 2018 and 2019. Decided to switch from one St. Ann team to another. And this is the reason why they've doubled their advantage. Taylor, very good to send Chambers. And Chambers, instead of looking for the goal, turned and found his captain, Nekumi Llewellyn, who yeah, is... Could miss from there. Yeah, could not miss from there. Latin home, his fourth goal of the season. That was just cool, calm and collected. They really didn't expect him to miss from there, Donald. That's why they're, they're up by two goals to nil. 
for those whose name is Season, Yakuma Llewellyn, the captain of Ultra Rear Tai. And uh, he has made it 2 0 here. They say it's a dangerous scoreline, 2 0, but Ultra Rear they do look pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's dangerous a lot of times when the opposing team starts to pressure you and starts to get the upper hand and they just need that one goal back. Right. With Ultra Rear's perspective and their situation, and they're still bossing position and making those right intricate passes and those runs off the ball. And that's the reason why they're tuning up. And that's the, the reason why it's a different situation. But anything can happen. A goal can be scored. And, and then you, you, you see the game start to shift in terms of momentum. But Ocherias, they're, they're doing everything right at the moment. And that's why they're leading by two goals to nil. So Rudolph. William still has a lot to, to get in this one. Still has another half to contend. Got you over on that far side, cutting inside, making his way inside the area. And that was a really good challenge from Tariba Evans. Has done some really good work at the back for your castle so far this afternoon. Yeah, has done a lot for your castle in defense. If you see the difference, between your castle and Ocho Rios. Can I say, Toriba Evans, he's just booting the ball up field. That's it after 45 minutes, Ocho Rios. They're in control in this one over your castle. Devontae Hodges opening the scoring from the penalty spot. And their captain getting into the thick of things to double the advantage scoring his fourth goal of the season and it was a fine finish after some good build-up play your castle they need to get more out of their players they need to be more clinical in the attacking third but at half time Ochoa high with the advantage by two goals to nil here at Drax Hall Welcome back to Drexel here in St. Anne. Zone H, the Costa Cup action between Ocherias High and York Castle. Ocherias High, they're in control. They're leading by two goals to nil. Of course, here are the highlights of the first half. York Castle, about the opening 10 minutes, they were the ones with the upper hand. They were pressuring Ocherias High. But then Ocherias got into the thick of things. This challenge, of course, by Anthony Smith on Raheem Guthrie. And the referee pointed to the spot referee Walters and a very good penalty delivered by Devontae Hodges. The defender made it 1-0 in favor of Ocherias High. Of course, then they will double their advantage. Ball sent forward to Chambers. Chambers decides to be on self. He sent it to the captain. Yakumi Llewellyn, who has slotted his fourth goal of the season. Very calm finish. That was just exquisite. And no trouble there for the number seven. And that makes it nine career schoolboy football goals for him. And his fourth of the season. And 
side note, William Lee playing Pollen in the second game of that Tropicana on Tuesday. We'll hear more, more about it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on the way here for the second half. At Jack's Hall, Otari is very much in the driver's seat, leading by two goals to nil. And uh, what their approach will be. Will they try and finish off this game at the contest? Will the cattle be allowed to play? As they started off intensely in that first half, your cattle before they fell behind and, well, went further behind. And uh, they will want to give a, a much better showing, especially in the attacking third. We saw where they bypassed the midfield on quite a few occasions, gave up possession a little bit too easily there. Chris Scott is still with me as we see yet another infringement on the play. And uh, for the upcoming time in this game, both are tie, they have a free kick and they would know how to manage their time well if they keep on winning the fouls here in this second half. Yeah, definitely. Your castle I, I did speak about it and they were just losing possession too easily and I spoke about what they do in defense and then that's the difference, you know, Hodge is working very smartly in defense for Otaria's high, able to bring it up, keep possession of the ball, but of course Otaria's high, they keep possession, pass the ball around. When they have the opening in the middle of the park, then they actually go into the middle of the park. But with your castle, they're not keeping possession. And one of the reasons why is that Otarius is pressing them a lot. They're not necessarily pressing Otarius high. And that's the reason why they're able to keep so much possession in the defense. The John Beckford has been instrumental so far for Otarius. They want to see him back on the field of play as quickly as possible. Holding on to his lower back. Hodges, who scored from the penalty area, will take this free kick. He has done a lot. Punted it long. Looking for Chambers. Llewellyn was also challenging for it. See, there's the difference, Daniel, that I'm telling you about. I heard the Lowland does well, but he drifted in an offside position, the Chambers. <laughs> was just gazing on the play and not on the back line of your cattle. And it just managed to get caught in the offside trap. As I, as I said, Donald, that, and, and, and I saw it a while ago, right, that York Castle's attacking line, they're not they're not pressuring Otarius. And I heard the, the, the coach telling them to press, press him, press him. He was able to calmly turn around, give it to his defenders. His defenders was able to pass it out of the fence. That's the difference between York Castle and Otarius. So they will have to keep possession a little bit better. York Castle. Trying to fit that one on, Javon Harris. Well, I reckon it's still fortunate to be on the path for your cattle after a couple of infringements created by Kevin that first half. Chambers on the run hoping to keep the line. I believe he did, but the pass wasn't the best. <laughs> there was a, a miscommunication there between the goalkeeper, Kamani Campbell, and Tariba Evans. And he does not look pleased at all. Mary Campbell. Lowland. No. He's that's still a good player, isn't he? Ball played inside and the keeper calls for it and, and catches it on this occasion. Yeah. Easy catch for the keeper. Hodges. He likes to run into space, Hodges. And uh, apparently he likes a shot or two. Yeah, not the best decision by Devontae Hodges. That's for sure. 
you know, Ken Reynolds of Defense Devontae Hodges. Should have looked for a pass instead of the shot. Oh, he has a goal in this tunnel. I'll be from the penalty spot. So far, advantage be taken. Taylor. I guess he's quicker than he looks, you know. That's why he was trying to beat his marker there, but he's giving some trouble. And because they're not pressing the, the, the defense, your castle, they have to come back deep. What a game that man has had so far. Therese Taylor. Come on, Devontae Hodges has been so good in defense for Ocherius. Hudson. Cleared up by Ocherius High. Your castle. I believe they know the importance of not conceding. Here in this first, in the second half, early in the second half. But goodness me, they need more options up front. Yeah, definitely. But, I mean, Ocherius, their work has been made easy by the fact that they're, they're not, ju they're just not putting pressure on, on that defense. Holy Cooper did well just now. Jackie Chambers. Schoons rather. Back to Cooper. Nolan gets a touch. He's trying to find the Chambers. Beckford. For a moment in the first half, you know, they were able to contain the, the attacking prowess of Yakumi Llewellyn. Llewellyn just found his way around to that five-man midfield for York Castle, able to score as well. But they've not been able to, to, to switch. He did manage to utilize the space out wide well, definitely. More often than not, he was able to get free. He was thinking of the shot there, decided to play to, to Llewellyn. And uh, Reynolds had his eyes opened up there. Kevon Harris finds the turf again. And he has the hate to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> Both Harris's have been down in this game multiple times, actually. Castle really has to find something in this one to get back in this game. Maybe the next 10 minutes or so will have to find a goal. But as he said, Donald, they have to find somebody that does. Zachary Barnes has not been involved that much in this game. And they really would have to get the target man Zachary Barnes involved more if they really want to snatch something positive from this one. It would not be made easy. Ocherius' defense has been solid so far. Kevin Harris has had a decent game so far for your castle as well, so they wouldn't want to see him on the sidelines for too long. They are warming up subs though. Your castle, but uh, it would be quite a loss if uh, Kevon Harris doesn't continue. I see that they're brothers, Kevon and Javon, they're actually twins, <laughs> and so they're they're closer than brothers. <laughs> Both of them born 
on the 16th of November 2003. There's the other twin, Javon. Kind of identical. Kind of. <laughs> well played up. Again, the interception there by Taribo Evans. Crucial interception by Evans. And the Tari Taylor virtually doing the same thing, thing on the other side. Uh, Lowland. Nicely done. Llewellyn pulls it across. And they should be able to clear. It was Evans with the interception once again. A play is done for Ochoa is high inside the penalty area of your castle. And he's going to get up shortly, you think. Beckford plays it up wide. It's with Llewellyn. Llewellyn with the space. Shot was charged down. Looking for his second of the game. Takuma Lulin. Oh, is are all over your castle at the moment. Wonderful work by Taylor, but then he ran into some traffic and it will go the other way now. There's a man who has to be on the ball more often, Barnes. Harris. Javon Variety. Trying to switch the play. Really, Ocharias has rightfully so, as you said, done all, all over your castle. They have not let up your castle any at all. The minute they lose possession, they're attempting to try to gain it back. And that has been the difference between these two teams. For about five to ten minutes, they were inside that 18 yard box for your castle and they were just pressuring your castle. And your castle, they have a free kick now. A little bit challenge there. Yeah. Just tugging on the shirt of Zachary Barnes. Almost treating him like a pet there. <laughs> but he has to be more on the ball than all this. They really want to come back in this. There's the delivery. It's a bad looking one, I know, but very good defensive header there. It was by Courtney Cooper. Oh, he does well to win it. Raheem Guthrie. Oh, kicks more of the turf than he did the ball on that occasion. Oh, the rest are winning more of the 50-50s. Yeah, they've done so well. Taylor. Jamari, Jamani McLaren back to Taylor. exactly what Chamber was trying there. Back to their full complement, York Castle now. With Kevin Harris returning. And they may be lining up a couple of subs as well, York Castle High. Has to do something to get this game going for them. Oh, Donato Thomas went down in a heap there. He felt that he got a nudge in his lower back. As the play continues to lull in. Chambers to aim for. Guthrie's there as well. Decides to play it back. Now it's with Dejon Bedford. I think was trying to line up a shot. And he definitely had the ambition of going goalwards. And it's a battle near the corner flag instead. And the good work to actually 
well, it's a corner kick. Yeah. And uh, he's on again. Yeah, again. Come on, Harrison. I think his day is, is up. Should be. And Peter Kim just getting the edge over his former team. But I shouldn't even say edging. It's quite comfortable at the moment. Though we know that 2-0 scorelines are dangerous. But he's had the better possession. Had more attacking passes, more attacking plays. Have been pressuring the other team. They've had some really good chances in the second half alone. Had some great chances in the first two shots for them. And those two have been right on the money. Well, those are the subs. Hoping to get some game time for Otarius a little bit later on. Not the most intense warm-up you'll see. Well, they're busy watching the football as well. Otarius, they do have a corner kick. Watching and enjoying that out. The team is up. It's been that kind of afternoon. <laughs> Second corner kick for Otarius. Well, the left side about that one, the better. After such a long wait. Giant folks will want to take that one back. Yeah. We have some half-time scores from the Dakota Cup. Cornell College leading Spot Valley by two goals to nil, which is not a surprise at, at all. <laughs> and William Nib, they keep on rolling on. They lead Malden by a goal to nil. So those are the half-time scores. CC over Spot Valley, 2 nil. William Nib over Malden by a goal to nil. William Nib has done really well in their group. They're topping their group at the moment. So you see a substitution. And it's the man, Zachary Barnes. So, the man we did say needs to be more on the ball. He is now done for the day. Zachary Barnes, he's done. The number 10. And on comes Joel James. So, James is on. And Barnes is off. Mm, surprise. There. Well, to be fair, we didn't see a lot from Zachary Barnes. We, we all just felt that he should have been more involved in the game. And another substitution. Um, of course, the man Kevon Harris, his day is done. And Ricky Richards is on for your castle. So making two changes. Your castle needed, in my opinion. But I mean, Zachary... Didn't see much of the ball, and that, that's the reason why he was not as impactful. They're going to miss Kevon more than they would have missed. Or they would miss uh, Barnes, based on what we've seen so so far this afternoon. Yeah. player who is very creative in their attack. And if they march onward, they still have time to get something positive out of this York Castle. But they have to be better in making their passes, decisions, and pressing this team. But that man, Devante Hodges, has been so good defensively for them. Supplies the ball to Cha <laughs> to Michael Chambers. And uh, ball went out into touch. And it's going to be a throw in. But yeah, Hodges, he wants to be so involved in the attacking play for his team. Next up, I suppose that he's going to be applying for a midfield role as opposed to playing at the back. Can be. He's made some good passes in this game. And 
just seems to be drifting to the middle of the park a lot more. So, maybe intricate in that midfield role. Maybe as a folding midfield. Mm -hmm. So, could cut out a lot of passes and string a lot of passes too. So, we might be interesting to see what goes on as the season progresses. But, Ultrius looks good. Ultrius are set to make another change. Their number 10 will see him for the first time. This afternoon, Kevin Wright. And we're hearing that Michael Chambers will be coming out. Flag has gone up for offside. Seems to be a foul. It's an offside call. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a, a free kick to York Castle. And the change is going to be made now. So it is Kevin Wright who is going to make his way onto the park, eager to make an impact. And as I said, the day of Michael Chambers is, is finished. Has an assist to his name yep. in this game, so very unselfish from him. So to set up his captain, Llewellyn, for the goal. So we, we did have this discussion before the game started but it was kind of odd to see their number nine and as we here we see the foul was on malachi hudson he's the man that's being treated i know again that one tyrese Taylor. Well, he says that he doesn't need the stretcher. He'll walk off the field in, instead. Yeah, that's that, that, that left knee. That's the problem. That man there, Tyree Small, has been unsung hero so far for Ocherius. Has a deft first touch, I can tell you that. Very good first touch, good going forward, can defend. Got out Donato Thomas with the delivery, and I'm not sure exactly what he was thinking there. Because it ended up straight to the goalkeeper. And no teammate was remotely close to the line of delivery. Here's Raheem Guthrie. Kevin Wright is going to get his first touch. Oh, he was impeded on the edge of the box. Free kick to Otorias. <laughs> Secret weapon, so to speak. So quick to change his direction, Kevin Wright. So Harris goes down again. As we take a look at the replay here, where he went by Anthony Smith there easily, wrapping his, or was trying to. Wrapping his arm around the neck of Kevin Wright, Anthony Smith was the man that actually committed the foul that led to the penalty, so. He's had a busy afternoon. Anthony Smith, the captain. Dinks at the back post. Headed wide of the mark. Gutry was in there. Definitely. And I saw Kevin Smith lining himself up. Wanted to go for goal, but instead went for the back post. Seems to be a water break. Yep, it's another water break coming up. Let's take a look at that delivery from Kevin Wright. And... Probably should have done better, you know. Yeah, I don't think he timed his jump to perfection on that occasion. Had he done so, could have sent that one back inside as well. Got three. You think he was thinking of going for goal? No way from that angle. No, no, no. That's why I said he could have sent that one back inside. And uh, gave me the 
of the Ultra Risk players in that 18 yard box a chance to make it 3 0. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely, I don't think he was thinking of going for goal. No way at that angle or a header. I just think he just timed his jump. Timed his jump. So these youngsters can be ambitious as take a look at the goal to here. There was a challenge. Hard one. And the penalty was awarded. And Lulin, or rather, Hodge is converted in the 18th minute. And then a nice build-up play here. Beckford to Chambers. Chambers then finding the aforementioned Llewellyn. In the 44th minute, making it 2-0. There he is, scoring his fourth goal this season. Defender in the second goal should have done better than all. But they saw the opportunity and they took it. Oh, Charius. We have an update from the Costa Cup. It's a big match between Monroe College and B.B. Cook. And I tell you what, Monroe leading B.B. Cook by a goal to nil. B.B. Cook who had a very good game against Lacovia last week. They're in a spot of bother this week. So... Interesting, but of course, schoolboy football coaching legend Patrick Jackie Walters band there, so expect to get some good football from Monroe. Here's Otorius, doing that second touch just took him a little bit further away from where you wanted to go. Nice take down by Kevin Wright, <laughs> which also may be a problem, you know. Yeah fast able to change his direction yes slippery very easily very slippery yeah that's why he's done in that famous number number 10. saw that Tariba Evans is coming can I say the sliding challenge works for York Castle for some moments but not for all shouldn't is he really thinking of going goalwards here? Ah, I'm not sure. He does go goalwards. And if he's on target, <laughs> now the kid's ambitious. He really is. Hodges has a powerful right foot dead on to Hodges. So wanted to try for the spectacular. At least you can see he has that shot on target. Yes, he can. Brown. There's a little nudge from behind. Could maintain his balance. Kimar Reynolds. There he is. Just a stalwart defense. Look at that. Able to push the ball. Sliding challenge. Devante Hodges has been really good in defense for Ocheria's high this game. Not allowed anything past him, Devante Hodges. Oh, so there he is. The so ball playing center back. Yes, you love to see it. Taylor. Which is one of the reasons why I said that he can play midfield as well. Wonderful bet for trying to win it back and does. But if it looks cleanly. Yeah, I thought so too. But a couple of players down for your cattle would make a story sight for the referee. So, so he, he decided to stop the play and allow them to get some attention from off the bench. Yeah, it seems to be Bird and Harris. That's on the ground. So Harris is having an intimate relationship with the ground. I tell you, he's, he's fallen so many times in this game I so far. It, I think it's twin telepathy in my opinion because... <laughs> It's the left leg for Javon Harris, and it's now the left leg for Kevon Harris. I, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. And it's smooth, silky smooth from Devontae Hodges. I think he's trying hard to be the player of the game. Oh, he, he's making a strong case for himself, Devontae Hodges. Cool, calm, and collected, which is what you want from a ball-playing centre-back. 
to the cool, calm, and collected, but not only that, he's a very sturdy man in defense. And that is it. Luinero has also been really good so far on the ball and everywhere. He's been everywhere. Yeah, skillful, smooth, knows where to find the space, knows where to find his teammate as well, and knows where to find the goal, as is the case here. Cool. Wonderful finish. Mm -hmm. Never in doubt. That's how lethal he has been, Donald. You never expect him to miss from there. Yep, Hodges with four goals so far this season. Yep. Well, Hodges has one goal. Well, Lewin, Lewin with four goals so far this season. You didn't see Hodges? Yeah. I'm giving him more than three of the match, apparently. I'm giving him some goals as well. <laughs> but yeah, scoring for the first time this season from the penalty spot, Hodges. Cool. He's had a good game so far. Yeah, great game actually so far. Bird is back on the field. York Castle till down to. I didn't say down to, to uh, ten, players. Ten, 10 players. Right. Harris is still out of commission. Well, one Harris is totally out of the game. Same type of injury, too. Mm -hmm. so that, I'm telling you, that twin telepathy thing. It's, it's a real thing, oh, right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it was the left knee, I believe, of Je Kevon. Well, Javon Harris. And it's the left knee of Kevon Harris. So I I'm not sure what's going on. I, I normally see it in the movies and think it's nothing. But I'm seeing it first time here in the center and Derby. And, and both of them getting treatment at the same time. Oh, jeez. On the sidelines, so... So they're, they're, they haven't made the changes yet, your cattle. Oh. I can tell you. I don't think they can do without him for long. No, not at all. Here's Tyree Taylor. Oh, nice movement from Bedford. Almost got through there, he tries to pick it up once more. Finds Llewellyn, who's trying to find Beckford inside the area, just could not turn. Shot from distance, goes over the top. That one coming in from Kemar Reynolds, but Ochoa is all over. York Castle at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Could have had a third goal there. Ochoa is high. And that speaks to how dominant they've been in the second half. And the, the, the York... Castle player couldn't keep that one on the rats. And then a shot there by Kemar Reynolds. Couldn't keep that one down. Apparently the, the medics are twins as well. Peter. One say Peter, one say Paul. And their last name. I'm not sure if I'm related, I have to check that one out. <laughs> They're part of the, well, one of them, part of the Fiji team at Mount Pleasant. So apparently they don't do everything together. Shaka. It is. Right. Challenge from behind should win the free kick. Yep. Just a little too antsy to Reba Evans. Ball played through. Lowland tried to win it. It's the first time that we're, we're seeing Evans under some pressure that he hasn't been really able to handle. Yeah. And that has occurred since Wright came on the park. Because, as I said before, Wright has, is, is so skillful and fast and changes direction. Your cat can be capitalized here. Needs a good delivery. And too much on it, and the keeper should be there in time together. Yeah, the height has a lot to do with that for Brown. If he had a height of the player who's on the ball now, maybe he would have gotten that one on target at least. Guthrie to right. Guthrie will get the return ball. Llewellyn is waiting inside the area. 
country trying to cut inside and couldn't get by a second player. And uh, it's uh, Harrison back on the park. As he said that about Sariba Evans, that is almost going through that ball and nearly losing it. But Lulin, can he keep that one in play? Challenge coming in, throw into Otoria Tai. Ten minutes remaining in the contest. And Otorius still with little problems in this game, in the second half in particular. Your cattle, they have been unable to rally so far. The first 15 minutes you saw where your cattle was pressuring Otorius, but no point in the second half, I believe. They've really given them some problems. Here's Taylor. Taylor looking for Guthrie. And he goes down a little bit too easily there. Guthrie. Guthrie has to be stronger than that. Hodges. So he's one of the nominees of player of the game, definitely. Hodges. Can't, he can't deny what he has done for them. Defended well. Beckford switching the play. He's had a, a really good game as well. So to this man, the captain, Llewellyn. Llewellyn making his way inside the area. He is... Uh, he's gone down, and uh, your cattle will try and go the other way, and they seem to get a response going, your cattle, and maybe this time, maybe not, taking off, easy does it for them, but there's so many Otorius players that have been so good for them this, this game, Llewellyn, Beckford, Hodges, yep. Reynolds again, and even right the number 10 that came on for them has been such a problem for your castle, so they have the quality players. Oh, Terrier's high. So who's your favorite for Man of the Match, though, as we see a, a your castle player getting some attention? That's a difficult one to call. Difficult one to call, but well, well, that's why they pay the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely between between that man, Devonta Hodges, and and Yakuma Llewellyn. There's Llewellyn again, <laughs> and uh, oh, just landed badly on his back. Sorry, by Evans. That's why he's so down on the ground. Well, he was. But he's up. So you're, you're deciding between the captain and the centre-back? Definitely. I mean, of course, we, we've had persons that have had very good spells. So Dejan Beckford is like a tier below? Yeah. Okay. I would say, you know, he has been that man to marshal the midfield, but... It's between Llewellyn, who we just saw there, and Hodges. Right? And Hodges. Those two have been very good. You know, we talk about being a ball playing centre back, but being a centre back, your role is defending against the attack of the opposing team, and that's what Devante Hodges has been able to do, and do it effectively, while also scoring, albeit from six yards or from the penalty spot. But Llewellyn has been everywhere as well. Twelve yards, sorry, but he has been everywhere. He's been able to come back in defense. He's been able to come back in the middle of the park and, and really collect the ball and go forward, running to, to spaces. So I think that you can make a case for both for, for, for player of the game. But who do you think, Dana, should be player of the game? I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> but you say that Dejan Beckford is a tier below? Yeah, I think All so. Right. All right, I'll, I, I guess I'll have to give you that. Um, I think he has been instrumental as well, Beckford. But I'm leaning towards the captain. I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't be mad if you did. And as I said, he has been everywhere. Yakum Llewellyn. Been able to come in deep in the middle of the park to collect the ball when he's not being serviced. And then make plays. Yeah. Has been able to even come as far as defense to help the defense. Yeah. So 
And then he has a goal as well, running into space. Easy, calm, finish. There's a deliver inside, and it's headed, almost headed away, actually. Went high to get there. Let's uh, hard it again. Yeah. So he's going everywhere. Definitely. I see a substitution. He's on bird. Out. Brazil. Folks, there he is in. Guess who on the turf again? <laughs> I, I think he probably deserves a medal because he has put his body on the line. Oh, I'll, I'll cover you from a different angle with you. Oh, yeah, oh, shoulder to the face. Yeah. And Hodges, he's not a small fella. No, no he's not. Hodges, so going in like that against a player who is smaller than him. Queen Javon Harris, going to be shaken up. Trust me, you will have a headache once everything cools down, I believe. Yeah. I think he was just rattled. It wasn't shoulder to the face per se. It was shoulder to shoulder, but I think he was just rattled. Probably a bit of whiplash. Mm -hmm. Whiplash, so. yeah. <laughs> Fair play, Donna. Fair play. Fair play. Definitely. Peter Kinn has done pretty well for them this season. He still hasn't lost a game. Peter Kinn with his Ultra high team. How far can they go? Can they get out of this group? Castle, they haven't been up to the rivalry this afternoon. Even though they have a few injuries to show. Well, this will be their second straight win. Oh, yes. Decides to rifle that one into the, the back of his teammate, right? Of course, Beckford again trying the effort from long range. Would have been interesting to see where the, that would have gone. That, I, I was just about to say that if Rai wasn't in the way, maybe. Oh, oh he stopped it from going outside for a goal yeah. kick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he did. There you go. <laughs> we being so curious. Yes. <laughs> and then we were instantly silenced. Mm -hmm. Good to know that we didn't have to speculate. There's another change. Raheem Guthrie coming out of the action for Otaria. And uh, he has put in a proper shift as well. That's right. Yeah. Just couldn't get a goal. Devontae McDonald replaced him, by the way. Yeah. Well, I think we're a little bit premature. <laughs> there is McDonald getting ready to come on. <laughs> and this is a perfect example of what Devontae Hodges has been able to do. He has been pressured and he has weathered the storm. And he has done so well to keep his composure. As we see the change being made official now. Official, official. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, Sandra. 
got, got through, sorry, sorry, or would have been brought down inside the area for yeah. the penalty. Yeah, brought down by Anthony Smith. So he would have had that good run to get by the captain of your castle. And uh, Smith thought that the only option was to bring him down and conceded a penalty. There's going to be five minutes of stoppages to be played. Correct, in my opinion, correct decision. When you look at the stoppages, there are quite a few. But Otteri is on the break. Ball over the top. McDonald with his first touch. And almost killed the play there. Trying to do something skillful on that occasion. Was Jamani McLaren. Oh, mercy. Uh, need we say more? <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> McDonald again. Oh, McDonald. Trying to go it alone. Last touch out to the defender. Corner kick to Otoria Pai. And it's the man that has been doing a lot of work in defense for your castle to Reba Evans. And a lot of work. To number seven. Yes, I did say the number seven. We do have a lot of number sevens in defense. But this one is and he has been very good so far. Sorry, corner kick for Otorius. Here's the delivery. Headed away. Not the best delivery in my opinion. Oh my goodness. Almost cutting him in half there. He <laughs> will deservedly get a card. Raheem Coves was sent flying. Flattering challenge. And Coves. Yeah. He was actually questioning what? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what <laughs> what? what? Yeah, it hurts. Sometimes you have to look innocent. Before you're proven guilty. Here's a free kick. Tantalizing. You got a hand on it. Try to fire it goalwards again. He always seems to be in the right place, Hajin. <laughs> Devonta Hajin. Really would have wanted second goal. He's really working hard for the MVP award. If he scores, do you think do you think he's gonna get it? If he does score. It's up to us, you know, you know that, right? But that's <laughs> asking you. Do you think that he, he would get it if he does score? Again. I don't think it could have been avoided. <laughs> Another change. Brown taken off and Jaheim Nickel coming on for your castle. Here's the delivery inside. Well done. He cracked this one! Oh, what a strike! He will never hit a better one than that! Absolutely cracked that! Did Courtney Cooper! And to put the icing on the cake here! It's something that his school will never forget! Oh, look at that one! The keeper probably should have done better! But he doesn't mind Cooper with the finish. Wow, just wow. A right with the cracker from Courtney Cooper. And that is the evening that Otorias High has had against York Castle. That was a brilliant strike. What a goal that was. My word. 3-0. <laughs> The exclamation mark. You know, John, a strange thing is that the last time I said, oh my word, there was a team in yellow. Similar colors, <laughs> right? Right. Similar colors, green and gold. Scored a cracker, and it was actually the same foot. Different player, though. Plays in the Premier League now. A Rohan Beadle. What a goal that was, Donald. Sums up the evening for Ocha Race and how good they have been 
in this contest in the St. Ann Derby. They've been so, so pinpoint and so accurate. Dominated in the second half. They were so good. Their passes mattered. Their attack mattered. And that's why they have three goals. The reason why I said pinpoint accuracy in the first half, they had two shots and two of them were on target. Obviously, the two goals that were scored. And here's another chance at Ocheria tie. And running out of... Well, not running out of real estate on that occasion is on Beckford. And here, just the last minute of time I on for stoppages. They have a corner kick, Otarius. And they'll get one more, but will they be able to make it in time? That's the question. Not 100% sure. It was a foregone conclusion after that wonder strike from Cooper. What an all-round performance done out from his Ojo is doing. For the kick again. And it goes behind for a goal kick. And uh, that should be back shortly. And it was hardly a contest. Hodges opening the scoring for Ocheria Tai. And uh, the Kume Lulin sending his team further ahead. And then Courtney Cooper capping it off for Ocheria, making it easy this victory over your cattle. It's uh, an arch rivalry that will have closer contests in the future. But for now, Ocho Reyes, very much the dominant team as they put pressure on the likes of Charlemont and Dintel in this group. It's a result that they needed to show that they are serious contenders in the La Costa Cup and in this group in particular. And they've come away with all the points here. Three goals to the good over your cattle high. And uh, your cat latcher started off confidently. And uh, Harris's effort, Kevon Harris's effort, wide of the mark. Then this run inside the area was cut down there, Guthrie, by Anthony Smith. And Devontae Hodges scored in the 18th minute from the penalty spot. And it was 1 0 to Ultra Reyes at the time. That was a really good finish, actually, from the Ball playing centre back. And then just before the interval, some nice work there. Beckford to Chambers to the skipper, Yakuma Lewin, scoring his fourth goal this season. And uh, Ocho Reyes just tearing apart your cattle on that play. And it was a, a really good finish. So we're pleased with the work, the, scap the captain. And uh, Pleased with this team's work overall. And there he is, sending it inside the area. And uh, your cattle, they just managed to clear. Another delivery inside. Guthrie, probably thinking that he should have done better with that one. And uh, rolling again. And then the resulting effort over the top. Hodges was everywhere. Then in the 90th minute, this. Full on 40 yards. Cooper with a bummer, really. Had some swerve on it. Kamani Campbell may be a little bit disappointed that he couldn't parry that around the post. But what a hit, what a strike by Courtney Cooper. And Otaria Tai, they were ecstatic. Talk about an exclamation mark on the proceedings. Ultra Rear Tie winning by three goals to nil. 
that's where pretty much one said as far as shots and shots were concerned. We didn't really see one from your Castle High. 27 fouls were committed in this one. Just the two yellow cards shown though. Six corner kicks in favor of Ocho Reyes over your Castle. And Ocho Reyes also had the majority of the possession at 53%. It's now time to hear from our player of the match. We're here with Lakumi and you are the captain and you are leading the attacking line, but it seems as if you were everywhere. Was being everywhere on the pitch a part of your game plan? Yes, because, you know, we have to lead from front and motivate all of the players to come with them A game. And it is your last season, I believe, of the school board football competition. How far do you believe you can take this Ottery High team? Well, our goal is to win, and we think we can do it. All the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. The coach, Mr. Rudolph Williams of York Castle. Coach Williams, you were pressing the Ottery High team the first 10 to 15 minutes or so. What was the reason for the drop in energy? Because we didn't lose the penalty in a crucial time. Get the player set marks, they put one on back foot. So we couldn't even launch an attack like we started for the first. First, the start of the game. What do you think is now the game plan for the rest of the season for you? Just we have two more games, it's time to continue with the students, um, finish the competition. We're only going to lose two players out of this group. So basically next season we have 90% chance to win. And are there any positives out of this game? It's a positive out of the innocent. They need to play the heart and play the heart out. And we can't say not more, put hard work, fight to the last. Yeah. All the best for the rest of the season. Now, we're going to have the head coach, Mr. Vern Peterkin. This is your former team. Yes. You came out with a 3-0 win comfortably in the end. Talk to me about your team's performance today. Well, I think the team, the point is very good. I love the three points, three goals, three points. But we had an indisciplined performance as it relates to movement and so forth. Touches and rolls of, the, of different, different positions. So we didn't like that. But at the end of the game, we got the three points. We got three goals, so we're happy with that. Now, Llewellyn, leading from the line, your captain was a star award for you today. Talk to me about his performance. Well, it is last year, so he knows he has to give up his best, you know, give up his best performance, plus he's the captain. He has to lead from front, both in, in intensity, in, in, in intelligence, in attack, in defense, and he did that, and we're proud of him, as proud of his performance. Binti and Charlie, when play next, how important are these three points? You, you must be playing, cl paying close attention. Well, we're, well, we're, we're hoping for Binti to win, you know, to, to kind of stop Charlie. But if it's a draw, we, we, we will take it as well. As long as we keep winning, all will be good. All right, all the best for the remaining matches of the season. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ma so the final score in this one. Ocherias High with a 3-0 win over York Castle. And with that, they continue the pressure on the likes of Dintel and Tournament in this hotly contested group. Stay with us for the second game of the doubleheader up next. <laughs>